help with shoes. <laughs> That's I, I feel like every time I hear someone who's who's married longer than ten years, I'm like, you deserve a medal of honor. You know, like that's the equivalent yes, sure. of, of climbing Mount Everest. Um, I actually I got married uh, this past fall, and uh, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, he's really hot. I've been practicing falls a lot. Uh, so I always I always kind of like to ask people because I'm I'm a newlywed. What's the one piece of advice you would give to to someone? Run. <laughs> They get funnier every time you tell them, darling. Yes, yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> 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 uh, so it's, it's going, it's going great. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like my back is too. Okay. Um, so, uh, but I also I knew I knew that he was a keeper the minute that I showed him a picture of my sister, who just so happens to be insanely beautiful. And I kid you not, he was literally the first man who did not immediately respond with, well, over there. And I was like, this guy, it was so shocking to me that I was actually, for a while, I was like, is he gay? Like, what is going on here? So, uh, but it turns out he's, uh, he's just a nice guy. And uh, on that note, I would like to add that nice guys do always finish last. <laughs> Uh, but no, growing up with the sister that I did, people used to say when we were younger that she looked uh, like a young Jessica Simpson, which you know was like the sex icon of the 90s. I, on the other hand, kind of looked more like a Jewish honey boo boo. <laughs> with the whole situation, I was kind of just sweating in all of my childhood photos. So uh, it was it was definitely rough. Um, fortunately, I did develop some good coping mechanisms as I got older. Uh, my favorite go-to one was to kind of like celebrate your misfortunes. You know? uh, sort of like when a, when a coworker gets a promotion that you really want, and then like the next day they get in a car accident, and on the outside you're like, oh, no. but on the inside you're like, oh yeah, you know? that's my new thing. So, um, so she actually, my sister got pregnant at the at the age of 16. Which in Texas, we're from Texas, and that's actually really normal. Like, pretty girls just kind of start popping out babies around that age. Uh, but my family was not having any, any of it. They were like really upset about the whole thing. You know, like, what are you ruining your life? What are we going to do? I, on the other hand, was like, bring on those stretch marks and the baby wing. Like, let's just put this up on 16 and pregnant. You know, I just want, I want the whole world to see this catastrophe happen. <laughs> Uh, so and but and I know that makes me sound like a horrible sister. Um, I'm, I'll admit that. But you'll be happy to know that it completely blew up in my face. Uh, she did have a child, and she's seven years old now. And I know you're not technically supposed to say this, but that little girl is a bitch. <laughs> she is, I know that's a little rough, but she's she's uh it's really it's really bad. And I I recognized 
the, the signs, like something was wrong when, from a very young age. Uh, she went through this, this weird phase where she would just kind of like walk around to like tables and shelves and like just knock stuff off and like, plants and pictures and all that kind of stuff, which is actually, that's a fairly normal phase for toddlers to go through. Uh, what's not quite as normal is when they maintain eye contact while doing it. Uh, I would be like, oh, Cheyenne, don't do that. And she would just look up at me with like this slight little grin on her face. Like, you slowly, at that moment, I was like, we have the devil's child on our hands here. And I'm pulling myself out of Ant of the Year running, so. Um, and now that she's gotten older, uh, her, uh, her her bitchiness has kind of progressed um, <laughs> to, uh, to more passively insulting me. Um, the other day, she actually asked me why I was fatter than her mother. <laughs> That's a, is, that, like, is that a rhetorical question? I don't really quite know how to answer that. Um, and it's it's a weird feeling, you know, to be to be like a grown female who. who is kind of terrified of a seven-year-old. Uh, my birthday was a couple of weeks ago, and I, I actually I got a 24-layered cake. It's it's a 24-layer chocolate cake. You can get it in Manhattan. I just did it because of the absurdity of that. Like, who actually needs that? I mean, I do, obviously. Everyone. And, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm the only fat in the room. All right. Um, um, and and most kids, if if you showed them. This 24 layer chocolate cake, I feel like they would be like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I was facing with her. I showed her the cake and she was like, ew. I <laughs> need <laughs> some fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my goodness. <laughs> uh, so it's definitely, it's been it's been rough. My mom told me I might have to share a room with her when I go to visit her that summer. I kid you not, the first thought that came to my head was like, oh shit, I gotta hit the gym. Like, I just really gotta get this whole thing figured out. So, um, fortunately though, growing up with the sister that I did, I did develop some good, uh, some good coping mechanisms, some good techniques. Uh, so for example, now sometimes, like if she misbehaves, when she's not looking, I'll just like break a few of her friends. <laughs> Occasionally I tear the heads off of barbells. <laughs> sometimes I'll take her out for ice cream, even though she's like doesn't want it. <laughs> like, I mean, someone's got to teach you about the world, you know, like, your crowns get broken, so. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring out our next comic. Thank you guys so much for seeing us. Super, super amazing guy, hilarious, performs at venues all over New York City. City, give it up for Pete Burdett. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Keep going for your host, Randy. Yeah. Yeah.